today's tour, you've got this huge home that we're gonna be looking at today, and you are not gonna believe what is right behind the house. You're not gonna believe what's right behind the house. But before we look at that, I wanna point out, this is down a road that is not alive. It's a dead end road. This is not an alive road. It's down a dead end road. So you only have one, two, three, four, five, six houses, six houses that are gonna be driving down this street at the most, unless they're lost. But you would have to be really, really lost to get down to this house. Let me show you some of the other things that we're gonna be talking about on today's house right now. This is the living room that we're gonna be talking about. It also has a fireplace. Here's the dining room that we're gonna be talking about with the kitchen and the giant island right there. This is what I'm gonna show you in a second, but I'm not gonna show you right now. Here's one of the bedrooms we're gonna be talking about. Here's another one of the bedrooms that we're gonna be talking about. This is the guest bath that we'll look at in more detail later. This is a utility room that we'll be talking about. And this ginormous room right here with the trade ceiling guys, is the primary suite that we'll be talking about. On top of that primary closet, on top of that primary sinks, on top of that primary shower and primary bath. So if you clicked on this video because you want to know more about the affordability that Edmond, Oklahoma offers in its existing homes, and you want to know more about this amazing house that's available right now, then you clicked on the right video. Let's go take a look at it together. So like I said at the beginning, this house is located in the very, very back of the neighborhood, guys very back in the neighborhood that is a dead end street that's where the street ends right there there's about six houses six houses right down that street that lead to this home at the end of it so you don't have much traffic and just look at all the space that you have in this yard right here guys and the price of this home is absolutely absolutely gonna blow you away and that two-car garage is spacious so when you have your guests come over this is the entryway that they are going to see just look at all the built-ins, look at the covered entryway that's involved in this home that leads right from the driveway right there to the front door right here. And as your guests come in the front door, guys, they're greeted by an amazing little lobby area right here with the coat closets located right there. And these coat closets are actually pretty big. I can't wait to show you. You've got two shelves up there. You've got a rod right across them, right across right there. And you've got all this space down here for different pictures and coats and the vacuum cleaner, of course. Nice size coat closet, nice size coat closet. Am I right? Am I right? Now, if you wanted to go look at the living room and the other living room area may have been a dining area in the past and the kitchen, you would come in the door and go to your left. But if you want to go to the primary suite, you would go to the right. So you've got your primary suite right off the front door and then right around the laundry room to the garage. So the nice thing about this floor plan, guys, is you can come in the garage, go right to the primary suite if you wanted, going through the laundry room, dropping off all your dirty clothes if you want to drop off your dirty clothes. And then you go straight into the primary suite. We'll come back to that primary suite right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the living room, guys. But before I get too far into this house today, I wanna to remind you that my team and I were absolutely here to help you with all your real estate needs, selling, buying, or investing throughout the state of Oklahoma. Reach out to my team and I, contact information down in the description below. Let's get back to your new home video. So this is the massive living room, and I'll go ahead and get a step out on this once I set this down, but you can easily see that it's Pretty darn big. Let's go ahead and step it out right now. So standing on the north wall of the living room, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times three is 21. So 21 feet right here, guys. And then standing at the west side of the living room, this living room faces west, but you've got these beautiful plantation shutters right here to take care of that. You've got one, two, three, four. So 21 feet by 12 feet is this massive living room. And you've got this beautiful fireplace right here too, which is a gas fireplace, but let's take a closer look at it. It's one of those fireplaces that you could easily have the kiddos sit right here when there's not enough room on all the couches in the living room. But this couch has so much space, you could easily fit a giant sectional right there and a nice little recliner right here where you're enjoying your TV on that wall located on the southwest, southwest corner of the house. But just look at this fireplace. That is a great big thick mantle. Is that called a mantle? I think that's called a mantle down at the bottom. 
And yes, it is a gas fireplace like we just talked about. You've got your decorative gas stoves in there. And you've got this decorative grate on top of the decorative chain link mesh right there to keep the kiddos away from burning themselves. But just look at that fireplace. That is some impressive masonry work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen together, which is located on the east side of the house. So the east side of the house in the middle is the kitchen. Let's go take a look at it. This kitchen has so much space in it. As you can see right here, I don't know if you can see, I need to check the frame, but right here is the dining room table, a beautiful, huge kitchen island with tons of storage in the island located right here, guys. Oh, that drawer doesn't actually open up. You've got your fridge area right here, pantry area right here, more pantry over on this side, guys, even more pantry on this side, more pantry right here. So you've got one, two, three different pantries in this kitchen. Let me spin you around so you can see all the cabinets on the kitchen side of the kitchen. All right, like I just said, you've got all of these built-in cabinets and a little butler area over here for like your coffee and your fruit. If you like your Kurgo or you like your coffee maker over there, you can put your little fruit baskets over on that side of the kitchen too, on that side of additional pantry space located in the kitchen. Let's check out these pantries real quick. Yes, look at all that room. Look at all that room. Now this, this pantry area right here, it's large enough where if you wanted, you could actually put a microwave in right there and hide it with these drawers if you wanted to do that. And then up here you've got what they've, they've got a little bread basket up here in the top of their pantry. My wife and I, we'd probably throw the chips up there so the little ones couldn't get to it. But they're at that age now where they drag up the chairs and get into anything, get into everything anyways. But what you're gonna love about this sink right here is it's a 50-50 sink and it's a solid top sink, guys, yes. It's a solid top seat and it's located conveniently right next to the dishwasher. So as you're rinsing off the plates, you can easily put them in the dishwasher. Now, when you were over on that table, you probably couldn't see this beautiful view outside the kitchen window. There's nothing like passing time doing some dishes. I actually enjoy doing the dishes in our household and I love being able to look outside my back window. This view out this back window, you're gonna have to stick around till the end of the video. This view out the back window is amazing, guys. But like I said, you've got your 50-50 solid top sink right here, located just off of where the dishwasher goes. So easily able to do your dishes and get them in the sink. And then of course, you've got your stainless steel professional series Frigidaire microwave located right above your five burner glass top oven in this beautiful home that we're looking at today. So what type of questions do you guys have about the kitchen? Put them down in the comments below. I definitely wanna get them answered for you. All right guys, on our way to go look at the guest bedrooms, you're gonna fall in love with them. They're massive sized guest bedrooms. I can't wait to walk them out for you. Let's go ahead and jump into the map real quick and I'll show you how conveniently located this house is to everything on the south side of Edmond, Oklahoma and its location and easy access to Oklahoma City if you're talking I-35, if you're talking Broadway Extension, or if you're talking the Turnpike. Let's go ahead and jump in that map video right now, then we'll come back and look at these guest bedrooms together. All right, good morning guys, back in this studio. I hope you're really enjoying this house walkthrough right now. I can't wait to show you where the home's located on the map and how easy the commute is to everything Edmond and pretty much everything Oklahoma City too. So the house is located where this circle car is right there that's the house and then look at this if you enjoy the outdoors you've got less than 15 minutes to everything lake arcadia you can also almost almost make it to the chicken shack you can almost make it to the chicken shack so when you get done at arcadia you can go over to pops the route 66 gas station get some gas get some soda and then cruise over to the chicken shack and enjoy a great meal with your family, your loved ones, your friends, or if you do things on your own, with, you can just enjoy a great chicken shack meal there in Arcadia. And then of course, if you love the Lake Hefner, you're less than 15 minutes from Lake Hefner, north and east side, north and east side. So of course, if you wanna get your triathlon training in, bicycle triathlon training in, if you wanna get your marathon running training in, or if you are a sail boater, a captain of sailboats, you've got Lake Hefner, less than 15 miles away 
from your potential new home or if you're watching this video and you're not watching the walkthrough from all the southern neighborhoods all the southern neighborhoods in edmond oklahoma and the neighborhood that we'll be focusing on in this video is northwood northwood and then of course if you work over in the capital or for the state of oklahoma look at that guys less than 15 minutes away on your commute to working down for the state of oklahoma or working for the capital of oklahoma and of course when you're taking the kiddos out on zoo trips you've got the adventure district the adventure district let me look at it right here all of this right here is your adventure district in downtown oklahoma city you know when we're talking about the the world war ii memorial museum where we're talking about and and, and they've got all the wars there it's it's mainly world war ii um infantry museum i believe it's 40 5th, 45th Infantry, I'm very sorry, I don't have that memorized. You've got the Western Heritage Cowboy Hall of Fame down in the Western District. You've got the, uh, there's even a pigeon. There's even a pigeon museum over there in the Adventure District. It's crazy. I know, I know, right? The Oklahoma City Zoo, of course. The Oklahoma City Science Museum, all located down there in the Adventure District. And it's less than 15 minutes, guys less than 15 minutes from Northwood and it's just it's just mind-blowing how commutable is that a word how easy the commute is when you're living in southern Edmond because you're sitting right on top of Oklahoma City I mean you're literally sitting right on top of Oklahoma City and if you work over at the airport let me grab the airport if you work over at the airport guys you're probably about 20 minutes, 20 minutes from the airport. I'm just trying to size it up here on the map. I believe the airport is right here, guys. I believe this is the airport right there. So you've got your Amazon hub, your FedEx hub, your airport, your FAA training center. It's all right here on Southern Oklahoma City. So that means I'm gonna guess about a 20 minute commute when you're living in Southern Edmond, Oklahoma. And of course, if you work at the Tinker Air Force Base right here, I don't wanna go off the screen, right there is the Tinker Air Force Base. So you can see how easy the commute is to everywhere. Oh, and people always ask me, Walmart, sorry about that. People always ask me about Walmart. So here is Second Street. So your Walmart is right there. That's where your Walmart is. And that's probably less than a 10 minute commute to Walmart. And on our driving tour today, guys, let me get a different color real quick. We're gonna drive the neighborhood. We're gonna drive the neighborhood. And then we're going to look at the dog park, which is located right here. We're gonna look at the dog park. We're also gonna be looking at Oklahoma Christian University's running track. And that running track is all along here. We're gonna be looking at that running track at Oklahoma Christian University. I'm gonna point out that right here is a post office. So your first post office is located less than a mile as the crows fly to your new neighborhood, Northwood, Northwood neighborhood. And then we're gonna cruise up. I'm just gonna point out to where that's at because there's a ton of, ton of construction over there. So I'm not gonna actually drive you over there. It would take like an extra 15 minutes because of the construction. Because I'm doing this driving video today at rush hour. Then we're gonna drive up Broadway Extension, check out every single thing on Broadway Extension and then cruise over Point out where Sprouts is. Everyone needs to know where Sprouts is. Am I right? Am I right? Thumbs up on that. Cruise down to the cruise down and go past the new space, the new space park. The it's it's not called Space Park, but they added some really cool space like play uh, sets on the park. And I'm gonna show you where that's at. The play sets from the Edmund Pros and Cons video that I did, I think three months ago. Three months ago. But that's what today's driving tour is gonna be all about. We're gonna come from the neighborhood. Go up, see the dog park, turn around, and then go up Broadway, guys. So here's a map tour, and that's how close all those things are that I just mentioned to your new neighborhood. So there's a map tour of Northwood, guys, and how easy the commute is to the Walmarts, to Lake Hefner, to Lake Arcadia, to Tinker Air Force Base, to the airport, to the Oklahoma City, um, the state of Oklahoma, and the state legislature of Oklahoma, and how easy the commute is to there. So in 15 minutes, living in Northwood, guys, it's a pretty awesome area and anywhere along southern Edmond guys this commute is gonna be pretty much the same so anywhere along southern Edmond 
in that area right there, you're still, your 15, commi 15 minute commute isn't gonna look too much different. So let's go ahead and jump into and take a look at some values in Northwood. Let me clear off all this. Any questions on the map tour guys, put them down in the comments below. And of course, for all your real estate needs, my team and I, we're here to help you. If you're selling, investing, or buying in Edmond, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, or the state of Oklahoma, reach out to us. We've got your back. Contact information down in the description below. Now let's look at some values for Northwood on the real estate values side of things. This is the last year, the last year of 73013, 73013, and let's do a 12-month rolling average. Looking at 73013 right now, the median sales price is $298,000, which is gonna be pleasantly surprising to you when we go over the value, the asking price of this new listing. And that's for the month of June. In the month of May, it was $299,000. And in the month of April, it was $300,000. The median sales price. Now, days on market in 73013, guys, 16 days for the month of June. And remember, guys, real estate data is always in the rears. So even though it's July when this video comes out, the July stats aren't out because July is not over with yet. May, 16 days on market for the median average, for the median average. For the median days on market, not average, the median days on market, 15 in April and 17 in March, guys, is your days on market when you're talking about single family homes in the 73013 zip code that are in between 1,500 and 2,500 square feet. Right now, shows to pending, we're looking at eight showings to pendings for the month of May, eight showings to pendings in the month of June and nine showings to pendings in the month of April. What that means is you're going to have nine people look at your home and then you're going to get a contract from one of them. That is the median showings to pending is what this indicator is. So April 9, May 8, and June 8 also. And then let's look at percent of sales price for ask price for the median Asking price to sales price, the homes are getting 100% of what they're asking still in the 73013 Edmund zip code. So they're still getting what they're asking. And you're going to see why when I flip over to the next slide. So any questions on the real estate values, on the sales price, the, the shows per pending, days on market, and then the median, uh, and then the percent of list price to sales price, any questions on those guys? One more number that I wanted to look at with you guys was closed sales. Keeping in mind the characteristics are three and four beds. They are two baths plus, there are two bath homes between 1,500 and 2,500 and 2,500 square feet, guys. In 73013 zip code, there were 426 cells in June, 426 uh, closed cells in May, and 429 closed cells in April. So you see there's still a lot of transactions going on in this zip code because the location is so amazing, and then the houses are so amazing too, as you can see on the video of this house. Let's take a look at just Northwood, just this neighborhood's um, sales. So let me click over right here. So over the last six months, guys, there have been 15 closings, 15 closings in the neighborhood over the last six months with a high of 279.5 and a low of 217,000, that house needed a rehab at only $100, $100 a square foot. That house needed a rehab or was a family deal. It sold in only one day. So it something, something was going on right there to make it that attractable. And then you have an average price per square foot of $140 and a median price per square foot of $140. And like we always tell people, the nicer the home is, the features like the backyard, what I'm gonna show you in the backyard, the uh, space, the layout, the street even, this house is located on Dead End Street, that will determine all those factors go into the price per square foot of a home, guys. So a high of 167 a square foot is what the neighborhood has sold over the last six months with a median and an average of 140, a high of 279 with a median and an average of basically 246 and 239, guys. But when you pull out that 217, all those numbers will go out. That's a holistic view of the Northwood neighborhood valuation, guys. So that was the kitchen. Right there's the kitchen. Right there's the front door. Right there's the front door. The garage is through the utility room right there. And then on the north side of the home, guys, on the north side of the home, we're going to look at two guest bedrooms. One, two, and a guest bathroom. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at this Northwest guest bedroom together right now. But just look at the size of it. Look how large that furniture is. You've got a nightstand, you've got a dresser, you've got another dresser right here, and there's still room to do some P90X if you wanted right there. Let me step this bedroom out for you guys right now. Standing on the west wall, standing on the west wall, one, two, three, four, so 12 feet, 12 feet from the west wall to the east wall. And then let me find a place up against the wall right here. One, two, three, four, another 12 by 12 guest bedroom, guys. And one of the cool things about this bedroom is look, it has one of those old timey, um, what are they called? <sighs> Where you push the button and you could talk to each other. I can't even think of the name right now for me. I'll have to put it down below on the write up, but it has one of those old timey systems. One of those old timey systems. All right, now as you go down the guest bedroom hallway, guest bedroom hallway, you're, you, you have another huge guest bedroom. This one has to be 12 by 12 also. This one absolutely has to be 12 by 12 also. Let's take a look at the closet together. All right, on the third guest bedroom, we got this beautiful closet and you can actually step in this closet too, guys. You've got one rod up here, one rod down there and two shelves all across the whole closet. Thumbs up if you enjoy having that much closet space in a guest bedroom. Now that you've seen how massive the guest bedrooms are, let's go take a look at the guest bathroom together. So located right on the, what is that? The most northern wall, you have this beautiful walk-in, walk-in guest bathroom shower. And just look at this custom-made vanity. That custom-made vanity right there has tons of space on both sides of the sink to easily put, you know, tissue cover holders right there, your little soap dish over here, your toothbrush dish, your hair dryers and things of that nature. And of course, you've got that picture mirror located right there too, guys but awesome guest bathroom right here. And right behind the door is the reading seat where you can catch up on your most recent Google news right there. And this house actually has a ton of built-ins guys. This built-in right here, custom built-in guys. So you got the custom vanity, custom built-in right here. You've got another custom cabinetry piece over there, but that looks more like personal property. So forget that I ever said anything about that. Let's go take a look at the backyard together, guys, because you're going to fall in love with what you've got for a backyard on this new home. Have you fallen in love yet? Have you fallen in love yet? Not only do you have this massive custom back patio covered, covered custom back patio right here with the giant, I'm gonna say those are eight by eight cedar posts. They could just be six by six cedar posts, but they're massive. They could be eight by eight cedar posts. But you also have the primary suite covered back patio too. That is off of the primary suite located over there guys. So you've got all of this beautiful sitting area and this is at five o'clock during the day guys. This is at the hottest part of the day. You can see how shaded and how beautiful this covered seating area is. But right behind you, what you looked at when you came out the back porch guys, that is a ginormous ravine right behind you. So not only do you have all this privacy covered back patio right here, but behind you, there's no neighbors guys. The neighbors are all the way over on the other side of the ravine. So you've got this huge privacy fits right here and then a ravine right behind it. So when you're wanting to be secluded, be on the end of a dead end street with only six other people, not have any neighbors behind you and have beautiful covered patio like this, you know this is the house that you're looking for. This absolutely is. And the affordability of this house is what sets it apart being in Edmond Schools at the great location that it's at and still having all of this, all these features that come with it. Let's go look at the primary suite together right now. I love driving you guys around Edmond. Everything's so close when you live inside Edmond city limits. So uh, this is Northwood. I've probably mentioned that a couple times on the house video, but if you're just watching the driving video, this is Northwood guys. It's one of those cool neighborhoods where you have Edmond schools. Oh, there's a dip. 
you have Edmond schools, guys, but you have Oklahoma City you, uh, water trash and sewer. And having Oklahoma City water trash and sewer is a huge, huge thing, guys, because you get big trash pickup. And having big trash pickup is a very nice thing, especially if you've got kiddos at home, if you've got grandparents at home, because you need somewhere to get rid of all those diaper boxes and Amazon boxes. I mean, who who does it buy everything off Amazon nowadays? So being able to have big trash pickup is a huge positive. Now, Northwood, guys, the neighborhood, it's one of those mixed neighborhoods. It's got some ranch houses. It has some, um, what are the other ones called? California contemporary houses. Like the house, if you're watching the full video, where it has the video about the um, house on it, this is a California contemporary style home that we're going through today. But if you're just watching the driving video, if you're just watching the valuation video on Northwood and then Edmond City Limits, well, now you're just you're getting to know about the neighborhood. So what questions do you guys have about Northwood? It's located just south of Oklahoma Christian University. It's located less than a mile and a half from the Turnpike entrance on Bryant. It's located less than two miles from the Turnpike entrance on Memorial and Broadway Extension. So it's got a really, really great location. I love this little boulevard that runs through the middle of the neighborhood right here. This is really nice having this little boulevard right here. Now, I don't know if the boulevard, oh, yep, the boulevard, it appears that it's serving an oil and gas pipeline is what that boulevard was put there for. So there's an oil and gas pipeline that runs up and down the middle of the boulevard. So just a side note, that's why it's there. But it is pretty, it is pretty, right guys? It is pretty, thumbs up, thumbs up. What questions do you have about Edmond? I figured on this driving tour, guys, We'll take a look at Oklahoma Christian because it's right outside of the neighborhood. We'll take a look at Oklahoma Christian and then I'll take you over by the dog park too, over by the dog park. And then I'm trying to decide if we want to go to the post office or if we want to go to uh, Walmart. So that's, that's where I'm torn right now. So comment down below on which direction you guys want to go. If you want to go to the post office, or if you want to go to the Walmart, um, they're both pretty darn close. They're both pretty darn close. But here is Oklahoma Christian right there. That's Oklahoma Christian, guys. It's got a great jogging trail around the campus. Great jogging trail around the campus. And of course, it's a university, so the campus grounds are just beautiful. So if you're a jogger and you like pulling out and you like jogging just right across the street to the jogging trail, that's one of the benefits about living in Northwood. And I'm gonna go along the campus here on the east side of campus, on the east side of campus. If I was going to, if I was going to um, Walmart, I would have continued straight ahead. I would have continued straight ahead on Memorial. So if you're scared about traffic, don't watch me. I'm gonna cut between those two cars. So right across from campus, You've got some mailboxes, you've got Jimmy John's, and then some outreach village area. But yeah, this is Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Christian campus. There's a little young man there on his electric scooter, on his little electric scooter. And then here is just a great little area to go jogging. Um, we'll go ahead and time lapse this so I can get you to the dog park because I wanted to show you the dog park. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised about how close the dog park is. All right, guys, I'm going to pull you out of the out of the um, time lapse because there's actually a park right there, too, that I wanted to point out. There's a real pretty park behind all this shrubbery, behind all this overgrowth right there that I wanted to point out to you. Um, another another beautiful little park right there. So uh, not only do you have this walking trail right there, but you have that beautiful park that we just passed. And we're gonna go half a mile north on Bryant. So we're back to Bryant. We're gonna go half a mile north on Bryant. And then we're gonna go probably about a quarter mile to the east to get to that dog park. And this is Edmonds Dog Park on the 
south side of Edmond. So let's see, make sure there's no traffic. All right, let's go. So we've got a bunch of office buildings over here on the right, a bunch of office buildings over here on the right. There's some great big apartment complexes back behind all those office buildings on the left there. There's also a bowling alley up here at this plaza. So we've got a nice little bowling alley up here at the plaza on the left. But lots of office plexes, title companies, uh, insurance companies, businesses, attorney's offices, etc., etc., located east to west on Bryant. And then, of course, there's one of those giant apartment complexes right there, the Fountains and Boulevard Square. That's where you have the Bolero. Bolero Bowl? Bolero Bowl? But you've got some great uh, restaurants over here on this strip mall to our left. Some great restaurants over there, little diners and things like that. And then you've got your Mardell's over here on the right, which is the east side. And on 33rd right here, guys, that's where we're going to turn east and go to that dog park that I wanted to show you guys. So you're less than a mile away from the dog park as the crow flows. So right here on the right is the dog park right here on the right is the dog park you can see it right there there's a couple dogs out there right now one two three four five dogs and it's a pretty big size dog park guys pretty big size dog park right there and your parking for the dog park is right here this is where you park for the dog park and this trail this park trail back behind there this park trail goes to that other park trail that i was telling you about when we were on the north side of Oklahoma Christian University. So it's all connected. Oh, uh, Edmond, Oklahoma is pretty darn walkable. Let's go ahead and hyperlapse. Do uh, All right, so all I did was just turn around that neighborhood right there, and I want to show you the post office real quick. So a lot of people like knowing where the post office is at. So now you know that the dog park is just a mile away from the home, from Northwood Estates. Northwood, is it just called Northwood? I think it's just called Northwood. But this is the parking for the dog park right there. That's important. You got to know where to park unless you're like jogging your dog over here. And then there's the dog park again right there. And previously we were heading east towards I-35, towards where the super Walmart is and things of that nature. But now we're gonna go west because I wanna show you guys some more of everything that's within just a mile of the crow flies of your new home. So you got your Sonic over here, you've got your Walgreens over there, you've got your Walgreens. And then up ahead, less than two blocks, you've got your Johnny's uh, bar, Johnny's, Johnny's Grill. It's not a bar, it's just a Johnny's Grill. But we'll go ahead and hyperlapse through this stoplight and then we'll come back as soon as it turns green. Here we go. This person's turning into Walgreens right here. You got your Johnny's up ahead, and then all that shopping right there. You got all that shopping. You got some Orange Therapy, some Pacers, some Verizon Wireless. Up here, you've got a Jason's Deli, a Firestone store. You've got Chick fil A, Taco Bell. Here's the Johnny's Charcoal Broiler. Right there, Johnny's Charcoal Broiler. You got some Taekwondo over here, some Taekwondo. And then there's also, what is it called? A, uh, a, a Hobby Lobby. There is a Hobby Lobby in this, in this strip mall up here. There's a Hobby Lobby. You've got Taco Bell right here. You've got McDonald's up ahead. And then we've got Johnny's Charcoal Broiler up here. Johnny's Charcoal Boiler up here. We've got some on the border over here on the left. And you've got T-Mobile on the left. All right, if that construction's going on, do not go that way. Do not go that way. It took me almost 10 minutes to get to the post office. So the post office is straight west on 33rd down that street. Straight west down 33rd down that street. I'm not gonna include that part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and take you to Sprouts and drive you north on Broadway Extension. That way you can have a much more enjoyable experience. But yeah, you've got Hipton's Tire Plus located right here. You've got
got uh, Metric Motors, you've got Academy Sports and Outdoors located over on the left. You've got a Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Store located right here. And then we'll go ahead and time lapse through this stoplight. All right, and the light turned green. So you've got a Popeye's Chicken located right here on the right. That's funny. This uh, fast lube place, well now it says car wash and oil change. Used to be a fast lube place, but I guess they changed names. But that's a decent place to get your car washed and your oil changed. You've got PetSmart located over here on the left. You've also got the Home Depot located over here on the left. That's where you can rent the big tools like the giant chainsaws, the mini excavators, and the mini um, skid steers, the mini skid steers. Let's go ahead and time lapse through this light. All right, now the light's green. Up here on the right, you've got a Vietnamese restaurant. You've got a Starbucks left. Up here on the left, you've got a Vietnamese restaurant, a Starbucks, and a Ninja Sushi, and an Office Depot, I believe. It's either Staples or an Office Depot. Over here on the left, you've got an Ace Hardware, and you've got a Anytime Fitness, and a Jersey Mike's. You've got a Jersey Mike's sandwich shop right there. There's the Ace Hardware and the Goodwill store, and there's Anytime Fitness back over there, too. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is back there and let's in the blue moon restaurant the blue moon restaurant is right on the other side of this light i'm going to time lapse this through this light and also make sure that the camera is recording all right we're one mile from second street second street and covell second street and covell are the two underpasses for the train station so if you want to go under the train if you know the train's coming, you drive all the way up to 2nd Street. But if you're living down on the south side of Edmond in north in the neighborhood, I don't believe that you'll be needing to come up here on 2nd Street and go on the west side of the train tracks for any reason that I can think of. But we're coming up on a on cue, guys. On cue is a great place to get gas and all the new 7-Elevens are a great place to get gas too, but you've got your on cue located right here on the right. AutoZone located there on the left, and there's a O'Reilly's. Well, here's an advanced auto parts right here. So you've got AutoZone, advanced auto parts right there, and O'Reilly's all here within three blocks of each other. You got a Whataburger over on the left. You got a Whataburger over on the left and an Arby's over here on the right. Arby's over here on the right. Then when we get to Second Street, guys, we're gonna head east on Second Street so that I can show you where the Sprouts is. Then we're gonna go south on Boulevard. South on Boulevard, this is Broadway Extension is what we're on right now, Broadway Extension. And we're gonna go south on Boulevard because I wanna show you after the Sprouts, I wanna show you the cool new kids playground like a space park style playground which if you watch my Edmonds pros and cons video you would have saw that playground in the background on that video and old Edmond is right in front of us where they do herd on herd and all that stuff it's right in front of us right up ahead at Broadway and 2nd Street all right you got a Papa John's up ahead right to our right you've got the Sprouts Farmers Market that is a great place to go grocery shopping, the Sprouts Farmer's Market, Papa John's over here on the right, and the Taco Bueno over on the left. On the left, Papa John's, and on the left, Taco Bueno. Now, if you go south here at Boulevard, guys, that's where you're gonna get to the new kids' space park, the new kids' space park. All right, guys, I can't wait to show you this kids' space park. It is brand new, it is so cool. It's just like the one, it's smaller, it's smaller than the one in Shawnee, but it's still pretty cool. It's still absolutely pretty cool. So right up here on the right is the brand new Kids Space Park playground that they just built. Check that out, guys. Isn't that an awesome park? Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome. That is so awesome. All right, guys, I wanted to show you those parks. I wanted to show you a little bit of Edmond around the new neighborhood that we're featuring in today's video. And I hope you really enjoyed the map tour. And let's go ahead and get back to that primary suite together right now. If you enjoyed the size of those guest bedrooms, this primary suite is going to blow you away too. Let me go ahead and walk it out for you guys real quick and then we'll go into it in detail. One, two, three, four, five. Five times three, 15 feet, 
15 feet. Now, there's no clean side on the wall over here, so I'll start over here and I'll walk that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 by 15, 21 by 15 on this massive primary suite. You've got room for a assault bike right here, room for a king size bed, two different nightstands, a giant dresser, a giant entertainment center, and yes, though that is a tray ceiling. That is a tray ceiling. And like I talked about earlier, guys, you have access to a, your own private covered back patio right off the primary suite, guys. What do you think? What do you think about this room so far? It's pretty massive, right? Let's take a look at the primary bath. So this home is featuring two sinks on the vanity, guys. Two sinks on the vanity with a linen closet located to the west, to the west of the vanity. This giant walk-in closet located here on the east of the vanity. And then over on the far side of the primary suite bath, you've got this walk-in shower and this ginormous garden tub located right there. And the private reading room has enough room to sit down and shut the door. You don't have to shimmy past the door, shut it, and then sit down. You could sit down and kick the door shut with your foot if your foot's actually long enough. That, that's a really long seat from, from, the reading, from the reading stool all the way to the door. That's actually a really long ways. But that is the primary suite primary spa, the primary suites, primary spa in this home on today's tour, guys. What do you guys like best about this home? Comment down below. Did you like the ravine the best about the home? Did you like the price the best about the home? Did you love all of the additional built-ins and closets and cabinetry space that the home had? Did you like the fact that it has its own utility room that is located right off of the garage? What did you like best about the home? The location, the price, the features. This home has a ton to offer, guys. If you're catching this video when we just dropped it, the home is probably still available. But the neighborhood literally has no homes for sale in it as of right now. And in this price range in Edmond, Oklahoma, it'll probably be picked up pretty darn quick. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other videos that we drop about houses across the Oklahoma City metro and throughout the state of Oklahoma. That video that's popping up right there, that's another video that you might be interested in. And then this playlist that's popping up right there, that's a playlist that you might be interested in watching. All right, guys, Josh Bard at eXp Realty. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My team and I were absolutely here to help you with all your real estate needs. Contact info down below so we can get you on the schedule to go over exactly what your needs are for your housing. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.